Here come the women. <laughs> you know, every every week I hear this song, and I hear I recognize everybody in there. It's and it's funny because I didn't right away, and <laughs> slowly but surely they seep back into my brain, <laughs> and it becomes uh, that. Cute little toe. So I guess the question is, do I put that on my record? Well, you can, because you can. <laughs> because I can. Mm -hmm. But, see, I'm having, I'm not sure how, I'm not sure how many records uh, the label is willing to release with my name on it. So, do I get everything I want out quick? 
on the one, one album, one and done? Or do I have all the weird shit and all the pop shit and all the rock shit and all the... Or... I don't know. Anyway, I don't know either. It's a good problem to have, though. Joe Gale writes in all caps, Yes, put it on your record. Great tune. <laughs> I have to look up and see if I can find any history about that place. Um... Most of the people, several of the people. Gail said uh, put some scary stuff, too. Oh, she hasn't heard the, the horror. Oh, yeah, are you kidding? She's got a horror dubstep. I know, you know what? I, you you want to see? I, it's, listen. It's uh, very scary. Well, well, we'll give her a preview. Oh, you have it? You know why? Because you can? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Oh, yeah. it is the holiday week. Yeah. yeah, it's so holiday weekend that I almost forgot it was still Friday. And I was watching the tennis. Yeah. I was watching the tennis. Halloween. I gotta search for and the we right thing. And we were watching here. Formula One practice, which is yeah. all weekend kind of things. And yeah. Angus called him and said, I have to take Stella and her boyfriend <laughs> to the football game. And Steve comes running in here and went, did you not realize it's Friday? Okay, and we here have we go. A show? And I went, yes. Uh, okay, who wants to see the horror, the Halloween horror show? Oh, I do. You do? Yeah. All right, let me get it. Let okay. Me, let me make it happen here. Oh, wait. Are now, they going to be able to hear this, it? You got to tell me if you can't hear it. This is That's the only thing. Steve's. Yeah, this is my, my salute to uh, Halloween. The movie. Yeah, the movie. The original Halloween. Okay, wow. I wonder if this is going to work. I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> Did Mangus <laughs> tell you how to do it? <laughs> no, no, I just um, it's I'm oh, going no. to see Cheap Trick and Rod Stewart this week, and we'll have a great time, Gail. That's, uh, yeah, really enjoy that. Yep. And yeah, you should be. Well, I think you should be. All right, just I'm going to play. I'm going to play a second of it, and We're if you Halloween horror show, and it's if you can song. hear it, if you can hear it. Just give me some thumbs up, okay? I'm just going to play it real quick. All right, here we go. Okay. I don't hear it. Okay, you don't hear it? No. Okay, so then that means I have to do this. All right? And we're going to try it again. This is called... Gail, there was no doubt in our mind yeah. that you would take pictures All right, of the here show. Here we go. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. All right, here we go. Let's try. Tell me if you can hear it now. I'm turning my mic off. Okay. Could you hear that? Yes. Yes? I think I could. <laughs> I, I should have just, I should have just check, checked out my phone, but here you go. There's a little early Halloween for you. This is a creation of mine. Well, because Gail was saying your scary stuff. All right. You want scary stuff. Just, here you go.
Trick or treat! Trick or treat! <laughs> we had so much fun making that. That was our or treat. doorbell. Trick or treat! And that was me saying, <laughs> trick or treat! We had so much fun making that. That was our and treat. Now we're, now we're listening trick to ourselves. Get out of here. Okay. Oh, we did have fun making that. And what um, else did I scream that you wanted me to scream? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Right now? I mean, you, I'm sure you guys, oh. I'm sure you're all big, you know, um, Skrillex fans. Hey, let me tell you what, that's on YouTube, and it has thousands of hits. It does, have, I, don't know how many, I don't know how many hits it has. It's been up there for like years. Yeah, it's been up there since, uh, at least since Halloween. No, well, since uh, yeah, Halloween I'll tell you uh, how many 2015, I, maybe? Uh, <laughs> listen, if you're, if you're interested in this so, and other Gail, I think drugs, that's a little scary. What do you think? Well, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I think it's scary. Oh, it's, um, uh, our, our, uh, our viewer from Brazil is here. Uh oh. <laughs> Hello, Frederico. Okay, it's um, Stella. Oh, where, Stella where? Frederico. Uh oh, somebody, somebody else is here too. Uh, it's, bo it's Booker. <laughs> I had to get it. Get yes, it. Not, not Buckethead. That yeah, was that was not Buckethead. Myers that was Michael from Myers. Halloween. Yeah. From What's up, guys? He's at the show. Trick or treat! <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm in I'm in Houston actually doing family things. Oh, oh that's, wonderful. that's wonderful! I can I can only stay I can only stay on shortly. Did you get your you know, blue belt? Just knowing that. Of course I got. Of course I got blue belt. Right. Pictures. We need pictures. We need pictures, brother. Of of blue belt. Yeah. <laughs> of you yeah, and of blue, you blue belt. Blue belt. Okay, get, you will get you will get pictures of me and blue belt. That's not a problem. Yes, that's got to be like your pasture in one of these upcoming yeah. shows. But but don't yeah. listen. Don't oh, so, uh, don't yeah. be polite. I'm I'm glad you're with family. Yes. It looks like you're in a beautiful place. So yeah. enjoy. Yeah. It, man. This is check this out. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, this is a cousin's house nice. in Houston. Nice. Uh, beautiful in Houston. Yeah. Oh, and you have the grands yeah. with you. Yeah, and the grands. Yes, are there. I do. Yes. Oh, man. That's good. Hey. That's good. Do I, do I, no barbecue or barbecue? Yeah, no. No, no, no barbecue here. No. Yeah, <laughs> but, in Houston. Texas, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of my favorite places to to eat barbecue is in uh, yeah. San Antonio. Yes. But we digress. If you yes. got a pop, bro, I understand. Yeah, that's a beautiful um, place. Have a great time. Is mom mom's there? No. Mom's out here. This is okay. this is mother-in-law. Yeah, this is his wife's mother. Oh, my, my wife just my wife just asked, "Could you see the kids?" There they go. Uh, yes, and, and <laughs> say hello to your beautiful wife for us. I so sure will say hi. hi. There's oh, look at this! Wow. That's, that's oh, hey. Man. <laughs> okay, and put, and he's never coming back. That's the <laughs> that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Enjoy All right then. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next week. All right, okay, man. Be you. safe. Be safe. We love Take you, bro. Take All care. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Wow. Yeah. He's having himself now, I mean, a nice now, Labor Day. No, I mean, think about it, right? You know, that's... <laughs> For the past couple of years, I've hung out with more people than I think I did in my whole career. It is so nice. That's... Who do we have now? Let's see who's, it's like laughing. Oh, that, I'm glad oh. for Booker. He's got a nice Yeah, hang me too. There. That's a beautiful hang. Oh, okay. Okay. Here they come. Well, you know, we didn't really get to talk oh. about the trick or treat song. We, no, we didn't get to talk about it. Well, we can talk about it later. Oh, music, music. Yeah. I was looking it up, so I found it. What? On the YouTube. Art? Yeah. So I can watch it again later. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, all you have to do is search right. horror rock horror. Uh, no, 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 Halloween horror horror dub horror is the dub. name of it. If you search, I was just trying to see how many hits it had. I don't know. Well, it has one more because I just looked at it. Right. It was fun, I, you know. And the funny thing about you, you know, the funny thing about it is, um, now I'm going to look Hi, for Eddie. it. Hello. Hi, Hello. Joe. Hi, Steve. Hi, Lenny. Hey. 35,000 hits. Not so bad. Not bad at all. Um, and the reason, and you'll both appreciate this, because I'm such a gear slut that when I get a new, new, oh, in the old days, it was a new piece of outboard gear, but 
in these here modern times, it's a new plug-in. So I got this library that had all this dubstep stuff in it. And rather than sit there and read the manual and watch the stupid thing. It must have been around Halloween. The, it must have been. Because um, we used to watch that movie every year on Halloween. We'd turn all the lights out. We'd light the jack-o'-lantern. We'd scare, scare the crap out of yeah. ourselves. So then that was uh, that was me ringing our doorbell. No, but I don't think, did you, but did, you, you saw it, Joe, but did you, did you see it, Lenny? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Gail's going to watch it again. I found it disturbing. It was disturbing. And it was, I'm telling well, you, I had so much fun doing that. Um, you found it disturbing? <laughs> hey, Mousie. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, Mousie. Hi. Uh, that was in the Skrillex days. That was not our visuals, Lenny. That was from the movie Yeah, we didn't, Halloween. those were not real people or anything like that. No. It was just a video. I should hope not. They, I think, I maybe mean, I think I, I, dubstep, uh, what? Just, maybe you found the dubstep disturbing. Oh, oh, it could have been. It was the, it, the dubstep that was disturbing you or just, the, I don't even know what a dubstep is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a type of music. It's a type of music. It's a club oh, music. You could have fooled me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. Yeah. I thought it was very scary. Yeah. Du I, I thought, well. And very well done. And I would think as a bass player, you know, especially you you guys, all you sound uh, people would uh, dig the sub of the well, dub. Well, okay, wait, know, wait, but, wait. Oh, it was making my headphones do this. Ooh. Okay, well, Anton Juttner. <laughs> I mean, there was something, there was something about the bass. There was something about the bass that was almost like two bass notes, and they were fighting each other. It was weird. Lenny, was it like when the uh, International Silver String Submarine Band played? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, okay, you want to hear what that was funny stuff? Said? Yeah, that's he says, that was da, 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 funny, da, da, da. fucking excellent. Ooh. I could see the blood spurting. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only September second. Nice. <laughs> Halloween candy on sale. Oh no. Uh, because yeah no we did somebody wanted because i played Gail something scary music <laughs> i i play i do underscore i for some reason no, no, my, no. my my music goes over well in like murder shows or yes. you know buried, uh, in buried in, you know the dead by morning and that kind of stuff that's where they use my cues so i played one last night that wasn't you know that hasn't been used because i get fined for my own stuff hasn't been used yet and everybody's going, oh, it's so scary. It's, 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 so I said, oh, it's scary. Wait, Let, then you played me... Freedom, our Friday night right, song, so yeah, and right, Steve anyway. asked the children of the lawn, should if I, I should, put that on yeah, my If I should put that on my record. And then Gail, one of the children of the lawn, you know her, yep. says, yes, and put some of that scary stuff on it. So we said, oh, scary you want to hear something it. scary that he did. Listen to that. Uh, so that's what that was. But, it, but for me, it was always more fun to learn how to do things by actually trying to do them rather than reading the manual and saying, okay, press this, go here, do this. You know, I... I well, Gail and Laurie both said it It's was kind of like well asking done. for directions. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure so you, you were lost. Know it. <laughs> uh, what? You were lost? What? Yeah, yeah I said, yeah, it sounded like you were lost. <laughs> oh, wait. Do we know Jeff's coming in tonight or not? Oh, I hope so. Okay. So, so before he gets here, all I want you to do, Steve, is ask him if he and Judith have watched any good golf matches lately. If they've watched any good golf tournaments. Just right, let it go. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a story. That's so crazy. Do they it's... watch golf? Is, is, wow. Is it, a, is it a current story or is it this? Oh, it's a current story. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Just ask them. Yeah. At the, they were watching at home on their television. Just, But he, he was saying, yeah, we're watching the thing. And he told me the whole story. Wait, do you hear this story? I, I was like, oh, God, please let him come on Friday because I so want him to be so embarrassed. I'll call his ass right now. Hey, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> I'm going to text him and go, are you coming on? To, but he may be watching. He's probably scared to come on now. <clears throat> oh, no, no. He probably. I if was he's dying. Watching. I was <laughs> dying. Let me see. I'm going to I'm going to text him. Lori. What? I sent a couple of pictures to you. To me? On Messenger. But wait, Steve, don't try to put them up now. I don't 
don't have my okay, own Facebook account. Okay, I, I don't want the show coming to a screeching halt. All right. I don't have a Facebook. Well, no, I guess you sent them to mine. Messenger. Okay. No, no, don't. Can't okay. you have your producer go looking for them? All right, you know that Lenny doesn't know the difference between that. Messenger and Instagram and Facebook, right? So. Yeah, of course. Uh, I, I do. Are you making fun of me, Mousy? I'm Len, not. come on. Last week you're like, I sent it to at Steve Logan. We're all like, that's Instagram. <laughs> Instagram? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's like, it's when it's when you want some blow and it shows up right away. It's an Instagram. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, guess we're not. I guess we're, over well. guess we're not hanging with the drug crowd. Oh, we're not anymore. Okay, let's see. I have two DMs. Oh, I've got one from Lenny. Oh, it should be two. Oh, it's a puppy. Oh, oh. wow. And its eyes isn't even open yet. Oh my gosh. Where did you get a puppy? Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh. Hey. What? New puppies? Oh. Uh, our, our our friend, uh, her, she saved this dog that was in really bad shape, and it was pregnant, and it just had eight puppies. Are you so I'm hoping one? that he could get the puppy up on the screen because it's really cute. Are you taking oh one, gosh, Len? Uh, I don't think so. We've got we've got no, two. No dogs one ever thinks so. No one ever. And the third so. Yeah, I know, but we we have a, a third dog right now. I think I told you this, but it's uh, convalescing, but it's yeah. not ours. Yes, the one with the hurt uh, leg. You're yeah, fostering that dog. You're, you're like. We're just taking care of it till we give it back to its owner because he can't mm -hmm. afford to uh, have it fixed up. Okay. So then you'll so, have room for a puppy. That's possible, yeah. It's not. It's a pretty cute right? puppy. Oh my it's God. I can't even stand it. I'll, I'll bring, I'll bring pictures it. of the whole. <laughs> I'll bring pictures of the whole tribe next week. Oh, you have them all there? Uh, not here. Not with me. Over at our friend's restaurant. Hang on, kids. I might be able to pull this off. Maybe. Yeah, I'll, I was I'll in just keep uh, talking. Manhattan today, and I stopped I and pet this. every dog I passed on the street in Manhattan today. I could do this. Oh, stop. Look at that little face oh, with a little oh, mouth. Right. And there's another picture of it, too. Oh, I, oh, you see, you want to see that one too? Well, yeah. Yes. Oh, gosh. And look, it's got the eye like Petey. Yeah, it's like Pete. I wanted to call it Pete, but she called it Ryder. What the oh, hell happened gosh. there? What is this? I don't know. Uh, oh, that's Facebook. No, yeah. we don't want that. No, you don't want that. No, we don't want <laughs> that. Like I, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Yeah, oh, my God. Oh, it's so cute. I don't know anything. Oh, about that. God. Ah, uh, gotcha, Mousy. Look how fuzzy. <laughs> I How's want that, that dog. Good. Little spotted nose. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. His, I think his probably tomorrow his eyes will be open. Oh, that is, thank wow. you for that. Lenny. Yeah, that's great. Man. That's the best thing I saw all day. Oh, that's yeah, it's kind of nice. All year. I guess that includes <laughs> us guys. <laughs> little splotches on his oh, nose. Oh <laughs> my God, look at his little oh. nose. Okay, thank you. No, you're welcome. Thank you. That's thank awesome. you, Lenny. Puppies just and I, and you see love. the truth of the matter is Lenny the the more times I do stuff like that the better I get at doing it I mean that was pretty painful no that was pretty yeah. smooth yeah, yeah so it's you know it's a work it's kind of like the dubstep thing only it's not as annoying what <laughs> that again? I didn't think that was annoying enough. oh no no really really who could explain to me the uh, history of a dubstep or why is it why do they call it a dubstep what is okay. that. Uh, I could never. I could never. Do you know why they call music dubstep? Uh, I can't wait. Uh, <laughs> um, why is no. dubstep? No, no nobody knows. Select amounts of it. You Not even Joe you. knows. Somebody he enjoys knows. select so amounts of it. He doesn't why. know why they call dubstep. it dubstep. Dubstep. Like dubstep. Dubstep. Oh, wait, wait. Of electronic music that originated in South London in the early 2000s. It's generally characterized by sparse, syncopated <laughs> rhythmic patterns with prominent sub-bass frequencies. The style emerged as an offshoot of, of ska. garage, drawing on the lineage of the related styles such as two-step yep. and dub reggae, yep. also known as jungle 
broken beat and grime. Yes, it's called dub because like dub reggae, it was a kind of music stripped down to a slowish and minimal atmospheric drums and heavy bass. The step comes in because it was evolved from and stripped down from what was called two-step garage. I, I think that's a really fancy explanation for a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> My son just said it's like an offshoot of ska with like a, a, a little extra. Oh, I don't know about it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no, no, I mean, no, ska. That is what no doubt was. I don't know, man. I, I just could never understand what it meant. Well, uh, well Sue says ska and dub reggae, so maybe. Uh, well, I, I, know, I know ska. I don't know about dub reggae. It's not, it's not here. Ska this is this like. This uh, is. Listen, here. Hang more on. like reggae. Hang on. Than hang dub. on. Um, here, let me play this. Check this me. out. I'm going to show you how no, I no, can you're afford not. this car. You're not going to show me. $178. That yeah, was my. Hey, shut up, bitch. <laughs> wow. Wait, are you telling me that's dubstep? That's the king of dubstep. He has won Grammy. And wait, because he gets my shit. He only had hits on that. Well, if it's won Grammys, it must be good. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, stop. <laughs> Stop it! The auto tune! The auto tune! Ah! You missed the drop! You try you talked right over the drop. The drop? The drop? Drop, drop the beat, bro. Drop. There's a You know what? See, we, we did it in ours. There he there's a clever There's a clever clever phrase. In ours it happens to be, what the hell is that? And then <laughs> in this one, it's this. Oh, so that's a thing? Yeah, Absolutely that's a, thing. a thing. That's the you ate, you gave that a name. No, no I didn't give it a name. No, that's no. that's the drop. When when the drop. What that this is really weird. I mean you gotta hang out with you gotta oh, really wait. dig deep to get this Kitty kind of says, useless turn information. It off. <laughs> <laughs> is that yeah, right. You're it's, killing what, me. This girl, the what he, what this guy, he's a DJ, but he has some synthesizers, so he can make those. Blah, 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 I mean, heavy like Hendrix feedback sounds, you know, horrifying shit. And so now. what the, so what the, yeah, well that means it's over. That means it's over. So what he does is he plays this nice little melody, which you heard, just the nice little melody play. Yes! And what that is, the girl saying, dude, oh my God. What that is, is there's a stacking video on YouTube of, you know, the, the kids that do the... The, the cops? Yeah. Yeah. And okay, the guy okay. does it and undoes it. And the girl goes, dude, oh my God. And that's what that is. And then the Wow. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just trying to find the social relevance of the whole thing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to waste your time. Oh. I, I mean, what are the philosophical is, implications? Yeah, right. Come on, <laughs> chime, chime, chime in, Joe. Crosby, Stills, and Nash have a new dubstep album coming out. No, I'm just <laughs> they do not. <laughs> <laughs> Four dubbed oh. in Ohio, but, yeah, but um, because, do you know about because trap? They don't speak. You know what no. trap music is? I mean, it's pretty trap similar. Music, yeah. Trap. yeah. I have those plugins too. Yeah, we know it all. We know it all. It's, I have. I have the weirdest in in my computer. I have these things. Or there, it's all this West Coast hip hop stuff. All the samples, swerve and swerve. Well, we had and, to do music for Who Killed? Yeah, two I had to do it like hip hop stuff, yeah. but like with authentic sound. So I needed yeah. an eight oh eight drum machine because you can't just go, you know. And it's, but it's fun. I mean, I love it. And the thing about Skrillex that's so interesting is the guy, I, you know. Calvin Harris is out there, you know, singing, I you met you in the summer. I like that song. <laughs> but, but Skrillex, his shit is so heavy that it, it I can't imagine, and he's creating those sounds. Well, Lenny can I get you know, next to it. Then, I, then I'll sell his like, I can't, I can't. What's wrong with you? And no, Joe is I like, get that. 
Joe is like, hey, man, I don't want to come off uncool, so I'm not saying shit. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm just, wait, I just need to backtrack a bit. I'm baffled by the, he has to make music where Tupac and, and Biggie get killed by. Like, <laughs> where where's the inspiration for the composition of that music? TV like, show. Well, oh, a, you, you mean where? Yeah, but I mean, like, what? where do you start when someone says, hey, make me some music about Biggie and Tupac getting killed? He well, to it's, the music uh, it's, of that it's, time. I live, yeah, I go and I would listen to whoever the popular artists are and I get the, you know, I dial in a tempo. Oh, it, okay. I get you. So from that time period, what yeah, was, that, exactly. I thought it meant like the music that they were actually being murdered to. Like, no, what, no, what no, that would, that would, oh, that'd be no, cool. No. It could right. be Tony Mitchell. That's another show. <laughs> that was the show. Hey, I hey. <laughs> That's funny. God damn you, Lori. <laughs> you gotta bring that up huh? all of her albums <laughs> that's right coyote <laughs> hey have you been listening she has <laughs> i bet all right here's what i want you to do i know Lori will not appreciate it but just listen to in france they kiss on main street with jocko playing on that song it's a Joni Mitchell tune it is like mind blowing it is just the whole the composition her you know and I have to tell you my husband always he was like always thought the same thing of Joni Mitchell like that girly folk music kind of thing but we, he was listening to me he's like holy shit like her stuff was her later stuff where she was doing all of her things with Pat Metheny and Larry Carlton and David Sanborn and Tom Scott and the LA Express and Jocko and all these other people is just delicious. I mean, it's just so I, complex. I, I, let's, let's just get a is sample. Is that on the one you sent let's, me? Uh, hang on. Here we go. With Create Studio Pro, you can create amazing 3D character explainers sucks, just like Pixar. Johnny. And you know. <laughs> Jocko on this song is just, oh. I love Jocko. Downtown, my darling, I'm store thief. Listen to that bass. The war of independence, rock and roll rang, sweet as victory. Under neon signs, a girl was in blue, and a woman was fading. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. Laura's ah! crying. Laura's that's enough. Crying. I don't. I will not have her insulted in my, in my face. I want you to know. I if somebody I ever had cool. the capability to yeah, go back and good. read. Do you remember when um, Playboy magazine used to have all these in depth interviews with you know whomever, and it, and they were really big on like they had their jazz awards every year and stuff. Sure. And one one of the interviews was with Barbara Streisand, and they asked Barbara Streisand about her voice and her her vocal capability. And they said, you know, how did you become such a, a great singer? And she said, I'm not a great singer. This is just my natural voice. She said, Joni Mitchell, who has like, a, you know, perfect pitch and a five octave range, which is like unheard of. She said, she's a great singer. And at the time when I read this, which was probably back again, I was not a Joni Mitchell fan at the time. I'm going to say like 1973, 74. I'm thinking, oh, how could Barbara Streisand think that Joni Mitchell is a great singer? But she really is very talented. Well, Laurie, let me tell you what. You, no you, okay, you, go ahead. There, there's no question that, you know, she's, first of all, the minute you hear it, you know who it is. That's the sign, that's a hallmark. You know, if you're able to do that, like Rod Stewart, if you're able to do that in one, you know, uh, you have it, whatever it is, and yeah. you know it sounds like that. Yeah. And you can tell it's her, There's, it's not, is that Joni Mitchell? That's freaking Joni Mitchell. And I, listen, I'm not a student of her stuff. I, at the time that she was out, I was all into the aggressive, you know, uh, fusion stuff and the hard rock. So I just never got there. But listening to that and listening to Jocko's bass part, I mean, that, that, it's an unusual pairing to me and it doesn't make sense. And I never really thought of Joni Mitchell as a jazz artist. I always thought of her as a folk artist, which yeah, is Yeah, that's, really I, well, very that's how she first became known, you know, but she morphed into an amazing jazz artist. Yeah, she kind of grew. 
-hmm. of you know an arranger and composer and and honestly her her bands that she handpicked i mean her mingus album is incredible Oh, sp well, speaking of Ben, by the way, Lenny, the next time Lori and I are in a fight, I'm going to put it on in the car. Um, <laughs> but um, I watched a Joe Morello video the other night that absolutely blew my mind. He said, Mousy, where's my fucking snare drum? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> where's that bone um, snare? Uh, you know, uh, he was... Um, I understand why he didn't get the same spotlight as Buddy. Right. But it had nothing to do. Subtly, with the way his he technique played. was complete. That's what I said to you. The you guy know, I was a when I well because look, I'm you know not above any of it. I'd say you know it's, it's kind of like hearing the Beatles for the first time. Not that I've never heard Joe Morello before. Yes. But the things that he was doing with the time. That was, you know, what he was doing with his hi hat and how he was changing the time and playing around. If you're not a drummer, it's hard to explain, but how he was playing like the polyrhythms are nuts. Well, they were polyrhythms, but he was he was augmenting the time going into the triplet mode and then making that the even mode. It's it's a bunch of technical stuff, but to do it and it's not very impressive to listen to. Right. Unless you know, Unless, what the fuck that is. You know, my husband was watching him on like one of those PBS channels one time or something, and um, as he's watching Joe do whatever he's doing, some crazy drum solo or whatever, the phone rings, and he picks up the phone. It's the house phone, and he goes, "Hi, it's Joe Morello. Is Paul there?" And Michael and the Joe goes. And Michael goes, oh my God, Joe. House phone. And he goes, hi, it's Joe Morello. Is Paul there? And Michael and Joe goes, and Michael goes, oh my God, Joe. And he goes, hi, it's Joe Morello. Is Paul there? And Michael and Joe goes, and goes, oh my God, Joe. Okay, it's not me. Paul there? Not me. I know they look at me first. Okay, it's not me. <laughs> Joe. I don't Maybe think it's, it's me. Joe. I didn't Joe change Rowe. anything. Hey, I, started, I, heard it. <laughs> I, I, got, I got a I have a feeling it was me. And I'm not so gonna... Michael said to him, he goes, Joe, he goes, I'm just watching you on TV. He goes, you're really good. <laughs> it's like, oh, bro, bro, thank God he got that like affirmation from you. <laughs> he says, well, I didn't mean it that way. He says, but he goes, I just, it's the same thing that you're saying. He said, until you sit down and watch some who's of these, a, uh, these people, it's just Who's like, another drummer of that era? Uh, um, of that era, Louis Belson. Yeah, um, Louis Belson. Um, oh, wasn't that uh, the Tonight Show? Was that Louis Belson? No, the uh, well for a while. Double bass, double bass drums. Yeah, for a while it was, but then it was. Uh, that was. Oh God, come on, help me out. No, nah, but oh there was God. the there was the drummer from that era, and his his sound, what he was known for, was that kind of floor tom beat. Doom, yeah, doom, do you mean Gene Krupa? Doom, doom. Gene Krupa, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. See, in my see, and it's very funny because as drummers go, if you're from that era, you know, I mean, I'm born in '52, so I'm right, you know, at the the when that whole thing was probably just before it fell off into rock and roll. But Gene Krupa, you were either a Gene Krupa guy or you were a Buddy Rich guy, and that meant that you were either a a hand grenade guy or a machine gun guy. And you know, I like a hand grenade. One shot. Boom. Yeah. No, but he was he was the Buddy was the most incredible technician on the planet. Oh my God. Insane. Like like he was like a freaking military. A MC Escher drawing <laughs> yeah. on the drums. But Gene had so much feel that you got high too. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> He was, and and I, although I love the technical stuff, and I do, but I started in that jungle thing, man, because that's that was Gene. The rats, uh, the rats did a song. It was called uh, "The Clumsy Burglar," and it went from one feel to another feel, and then we put in "Caravan." Da 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 da. -da. With the boom, doom, 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 doom. Yeah, and then Peppy that, would and come that was out that kind of with a, yeah, vibe, who was that yeah. woman with the bananas on her head? Uh, Carmen, Carmen Miranda. Miranda. Yeah, I made a big Carmen Miranda hat for Peppy. 
So he would come out and play the claves during that thing. I'll get a no, picture he's somewhere. I'm related to Lin Manuel. <laughs> I know that. Is that an inside joke here? I hope so. <laughs> Lin Manuel. So you you wore the thing. You wore the the the. Pe- no, Peppy did. No, Peppy wore yeah. it. Yeah, I wouldn't wear it. <laughs> you just made I, it. <laughs> I made it for him. I make a good rats observation here, just because. Okay. Man. I make a good um, rats observation. If, I mean, I, I wouldn't because. say anything nice about the band. Okay. You're in the loop again. Um, <laughs> if, if, I mean, I, I wouldn't say anything nice about the okay. band. You're Pepper. in the loop again. Who did that? I mean, I, you're I, in the loop again. I didn't touch okay. anything. How does that shit happen, Peppy? You motherfucker. Um, it's and, all the people from beyond, all the musicians from beyond. I, with you. Before <laughs> your show, Lenny, which was whatever, a couple of years ago, before your show, I did my homework. I went and I looked at stuff that I would never have looked at for any other reason. And I saw uh, 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 Ginger Snaps and all this different stuff. And what I really realized it was there was a real uniqueness to the musical architecture of that band and if it had not been as comical maybe and arrogant as it was and you know that was part of the shtick I I think I look at what you guys were doing and it I marvel at it because to be playing those big band arrangements and even thinking on that level at that time it's it's pretty uh, ingenious yeah, he would come up, you know, with some pretty decent stuff, and, He's dead, and we right? had good He's players. Dead. He's dead now. Okay. He's still dead. <laughs> but uh, hey, Wait, we, let me do we my had... mother's God rest his soul. Let's yeah. check and make Listen, sure. my mother said we should only say good of the dead. So Peppy's dead. Good. Peppy's dead. <laughs> Peppy's dead. We uh, we did a we did a lot of different stuff like uh, ginger snappers, right? Yeah, but that was great. We, we used to have a. A Hitler medley. medley. Oh no! Okay. Yeah, we had two songs about Hitler. Oh, no, it what went over they? great. <laughs> uh, one was one was the room, and the other one was writing the pages. Wow! Now you see, we used to do. It's funny. We used to do a thing when we were just getting so bored. We would do this thing where we would jam. It was way back in the seventies. And we did a thing called Funk Nazis. <laughs> okay, I, you get it. And it was it was Funk Nazis. Sing high. It was just you know, shine. <laughs> Same your kind of thing. It was you know. Can I tell you how many people were protesting outside of Madison Square Garden against Roger Waters the other night? <laughs> and why is that? What did he do now? Oh, they say he's anti-Semitic because he. Oh, he's cursing you. Palestine. The entire. The entire concert was so political that they he actually announced at the beginning of the show to saying, um, you know, the show will start in 15 minutes. The show will start in 10 minutes. The show will start in two minutes. Please take your seats. Um, and then it said, please do your, you know, fellow audience members a favor and shut off your cell phone. And if you are one of those people who um, says, I like the music of Pink Floyd, but I can't stand Rogers politics kindly fuck off to the bar until the show is over <laughs> and the whole show was so political it was just screams of people you know ronald ray you name it and i mean like it didn't phase me one way or the other and some of it was beautiful actually you know like acceptance of people and his his media graphics were incredible he said he had a, a crew of 140 people Wow. that work on putting that show together with it all coordinated with the, you know, the video and the lighting and the, and the, the, you know, the sound that's going over top of everything, yeah. the narration and whatever. Um, and it was oddly at first I was like, Oh God, he's, he's like starting to annoy me. But then at the end, it was almost like very touching. <laughs> so I saw the video that you posted. Yeah, you know, he did all the stuff. You know, 
here's the one thing though he did kind of make it sound like he was like very close with sid barrett and was very distraught that sid barrett but i know they all told him to go fuck himself when he started out <laughs> nuts you know that they threw him right out of the band but yeah i, you know, I, I think so, they should like stop beating that horse yeah exactly you know and we miss him you know and they wish you were here and you know whatever and they had pictures of sid and them like really really young you know young hopeful musicians that are you know, just coming into their own and whatever, the, the, the brotherhood of that whole thing. And I was like, King, yeah, yeah, right. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on. But I got to tell you, on that video that you took, the video was super clean and the sound was super clean. Uh, you know what? The last three times I've been to the garden and I've sat in several different places, the sound has been pristine i can't i don't understand it because it used to be the worst sounding venue in the world like people well, you know i remember the first time boston played there and they said they'd never go back and play the garden again because it sounded so horrific yeah it so, always uh, that was always a bad sound in room. yeah it sounds amazing you know it's one of the few times where their line array system uh, is just perfectly placed and no matter where you go it sounds amazing it was just yeah i think they just bring enough stuff to Make it that way. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm sure that you know it's been tweaked six ways to Sunday, as they say. But uh, yeah, you know. I'm sure that I'm sure they graphic that whole room in a way that they weren't able to do 20 years ago. And you know, there's all. Yeah. But Anybody know who's doing this sound? You know what? I'm sure it was you know his own people. There, there, there were several stations, um, because when we got the seats, my girlfriend had bought the tickets, and she said to me, um. She goes, oh, these aren't the greatest seats, but we bought these tickets pre-pandemic. That's how long we've been waiting to see this wow. show. <laughs> so, yeah, it was supposed to be like 2020. May of 2020 was supposed to be the show or July or something. So she said to me, you know, this isn't the greatest seats, but, you know, it is what it is, whatever. And I, I looked at her and I said, look over there. And I said, we were like 15 feet away. I said, do you see what that is? And she's like, I don't know what that is. I said, that's where the sound engineer sits. And I said, and that's where you always want to sit when you go to a concert. And she's like, why? I go, who do you think he mixes for? I go, like, yeah, right. <laughs> he gets it to sound perfect where he's hearing it. And I go, yeah, that's as good as it's going to get. Yeah. So, but yeah. It, yeah, it sounded amazing. They they had several stations though. And then, then of course they had the pig. And um, he also had a giant sheep this time because he said people have turned into sheep. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Yeah, and he so has there's... gotten he's gotten really political though. Oh, you think? Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, he but has, I mean, he but has. for a pretty long time though. Yeah, he has been, and you know, he talked. I mean, he he bashed Ronald Reagan. He bashed Donald Trump. Has he it bashed... done any good? No. Pardon? No. Has it of done any not. good? No. I think it gets a little cheer from people, and I have to tell you again, his voice. Not that he ever had the voice. But his voice is completely shot. It was, you know, and again, as somebody who like wants it to sound better and other people probably didn't care. It's just like, oh, he's singing the song. But I was just like, come on, just like give him a little help there. You know? yeah, we have the perfect uh, you know, Pink Floyd yeah, singer for him. Yeah, we have the perfect. Well, you'll see on on, on Lori's birthday show, <laughs> I'll break out the yeah, right. guy <laughs> But um, did you ever stop to think that those old pictures of David Gilmore look eerily like Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. Oh, no, I never did. Oh, wow. like you must DiCaprio. look. Probably because when I first knew them and David Gilmore was so young, there was no Leo DiCaprio no, to compare him to. Yeah, so it would never have occurred to me. He pointed that out, and it's, it's like, wow. Young. Right. And you never see them in the same place at the same time. Right. Maybe Leo is his illegitimate son. His Here secret love child, Lenny. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> wow. What you got? I got... Uh, the blue shirt, Lenny looks like him. Yeah, that's a that's good, good one. one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hang on. Here, let me give you this. And beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. No? Huh? Well, it's, oh my okay. gosh! Yes, is that well? Is yeah, that true? like when he was in What's Eating Gilbert Grape when he was really young. Yeah. Oh, really young? Yeah. Little kid. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, they were yeah. probably little kids Weird, the first huh? time we saw them, Lenny. I saw them at Roosevelt Stadium in nineteen. Oh God, seventy-three, maybe. Pink 74? Floyd. Yeah. 
I saw him in the city this, somewhere. This, this, oops, I miss. I uh, I blew it now. This, uh, where is that picture? This is what Leo Di, Leonardo DiCaprio will look like in twenty five years. Yeah, oh probably. my God. <laughs> oh, speaking of it, has everyone seen um, the the thing that's going around all over social media? The picture. I'm, I'm going to have to pull it up and and try to show it to you because it is freaking hilarious. What is? Uh, let me pull it up and show you because everybody said the same thing. We were like, "OMG, where's my Insta?" Instagram, well, we'll then. Well, talk amongst yourselves. Oh, yeah. oh. okay. Uh, what do you want to talk about, guys? So, you guys playing this weekend? <laughs> yeah. You playing at the T-Mobile uh, Music Fest? No, this that was, the, <laughs> that was the one where the gun went off. So, that was... Uh, oh, really? Okay, yeah. ready? Yeah. Oh, bring this up as close as we can. Go, yeah, go to your... Oh, yeah, I saw that. Okay, have you seen this picture? Is that a joke? No, it's real. It's real. It's when the, I, the guy you thought was Woody Allen actually turns out to be Bruce Springsteen. I couldn't I couldn't really believe it. It's Bruce. Wow. He looks exactly like Woody Allen. I know. Holy shit. Really? Yeah, that's him. I thought that was Woody Allen. Yeah, everybody thought that. Except some people said, no, I thought it was Martin Scorsese. And I said, no, the eyebrows aren't enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all yeah. over the internet. I, You know, somebody took a selfie with him or whatever, and then it went, and everybody went, what? That's wow. the last time he'll wear those glasses. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, different, need, need different glasses, Bruce. Unless he tries to marry his daughter. Oh, now, so you posted a good picture of yourself a couple of days ago. Very, very hot little gypsy I saw God. there. Yeah. <laughs> but, but but that guy that you're with, what was that? Okay, so I live in the tiniest town in New Jersey. Where was it? Um, and it was such a like a white bread kind of town, you know, and you know, like maybe I'm gonna say the police to human ratio was probably like two two people to every cop, you know, little town where you couldn't like throw a gum wrapper on the sidewalk without you know getting a ticket. And somehow somebody was able to open a head shop in Cedar Grove. Head that, shop and waterbed store, right? Yeah, well, or it started like out being called the Third Stone, and it was a head shop. Sounds and good. then um, the guy who took it over, this guy Joe, who worked there and then bought it, he was um, he turned it in. He used to build waterbeds, you know. That's when waterbed, and so it was a head shop waterbed store, and we. <laughs> Hang there all the time. There were apartments upstairs. We partied there constantly. I started going there. I'm going to say I was like 16 years old. That picture of me, I think I was probably 18 or 19. Um, but the thing is, the picture of me is um, it's a Halloween party and I am dressed like a gypsy. And I'm posing with this guy, Joe, who is just dressed like Joe, dressed every fucking day of the year. <laughs> so it was no costume. Yeah. And it was... Uh, yeah, everybody thought it was like hilarious because the people from town, it was notorious. The cops used to park right across the street and watch every person who came in and out. And I didn't want to put it on Facebook, but one of the cops from town, actually the youngest one on the force, they had him put on a wig at one point and come in and go, oh, do you have any marijuana to sell? <laughs> like he was trying, oh, trying to bust Oh, up. the narc. Oh, look. Yeah, who's the narc, uh, exactly. Who, who's, exactly. Who's this now? Oh, Jackie. Jackie. Man. Oh, Jackie. what's the matter? He's sideways. Oh, again? Over. Very good. Under. Forgive him. There you go. There that he was is. easy. Oh. Now you gotta make it bigger. Yeah, now you gotta turn it the other way. Or don't. You know, no, he's don't. good. He's good. No, you're fine. Yeah. Oh, 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 there we go. Uh, I get it. Oh, okay. I apologize. God damn it. <laughs> I completely, <laughs> completely fucking space this out. I had my family just left about 10 minutes. Such a beautiful beach day. And then we were all day with the twins. And so enough about me. Hi. Hey. 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 Besides that, Mrs. Lincoln, how'd you like to play? Hey, it was great. <laughs> You know, for so many years, 
I thought the expression break a leg, you know, when somebody's going on stage. Yeah. yeah. After, after Lee Harvey Oswald uh, put that hole in, in Lincoln's head, he jumped off Lincoln's box onto the stage and broke his leg. Oh. And I yeah. always thought that, that that had something to do with it. It had nothing to do with it. You know. I and know. You got, you, you got away. With, with a broken leg, you got away. How the hell? You know. I know what well, that well, means, break a leg. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so back in the early days of theater and vaudeville and whatever, even pre-vaudeville, in the very early days of any kind of theater, the people would come to perform, and the only way you would get paid if you actually got past the legs of the curtains and got on stage, that's the only way you would get paid. So they would say, like, instead of good luck, break a leg. That meant you got, because you know how the curtains are, there's like the head. And then there's the two sides that are the legs. Remember on Abbott and Costello, he'd say, lift up the left leg, lift up the right leg. That, <laughs> so that's what it was. It was, if, if you were lucky, you would break a leg of the curtain and get paid that night. And get and paid. Very good, and Mousy. That, and that's not true. Thank you, Professor. I, I no, knew it, you would do that be, one. It, it may be true, but the, the way I heard it is in the old days, uh, everybody put on so much grease paint that was grease paint everywhere on all the table, uh, all over the floor. So the people would put their shoes on, they would wind up putting their shoes on the table and the tables were full of grease paint. And pe- I, you know, in other words, if, if you were working high enough in vaudeville that they were actually using grease paint, you were on the slippery substance and you were, and you were likely to break your leg. That, I, I heard some version of that. Yours sounds actually more palatable, but I love I love Lincoln getting shot being part of it. So I'm- <laughs> I, I have a, I have an updated version. I have an updated oh, version. Uh, okay, uh, Mark Rivera. I'm sure everybody knows as the sax player in many situations, including Billy Joel's current band. He said, "Don't ever say that to me." My son said that to me once, and I broke my leg. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> well, it's ironic. Isn't it's it? ironic for sure. Yeah. It, uh, Jeff I, won't be on tonight. He's on his way to uh, someplace in Tennessee to see Steve Cropper perform with Eddie Gore Band. So uh, he says, "Say hi to everyone if they're still on," because he just texted me back. We're so, still on. We've got another hi, two, two or three minutes. Oh, here comes. I, do you want me to? Whoa. So, uh, do you think I can tell you the story? Yes. Tell okay. the story. Okay. Hey, Scott. Uh, Who's running this show? <laughs> Hi, Scott. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Hello, Scott. How are you in the world? Hi. Hi. It's, I'm struggling to hear you all, but I had to say hello. We're all here in uh, almost in North Carolina in Virginia. Can't remember the name of the town. Having a really good meal. And nice. just wanted to say hi to you guys. Howdy. 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 Doody. Yeah. Howdy, doody. Yeah, howdy, doody. Yeah, you just caught us. We're, we're up with good. Say hello to the boys. Yeah. Have a good show. Can I pass right the away. phone around real quick? Yeah, yeah sure. Go yeah, ahead. For sure. Here's, here's Chandler. <laughs> say, hi to, say, say hi to everyone. Man. Steve, what's going on, brother? Hey, Chandler. How are you, bro? Hi. It's right in my free fall, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. How are you, man? It's, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you know, it's I'm uh, rocking and rolling. I got the record and stuff coming out. It's stuff is happening. Good, man. Video, good, good, brother. Yeah, you I still see you're still in the spaceship. Yeah, I'm still. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's. I mean, some things never change, but yeah, I, I need to be out here. Everyone's Lost safer if I'm here. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, cool. Break a leg, yeah. Chandler. Oh, oh. oh. Thank, you. thank you. I'll break both. Okay. Oh, please don't, bro. Please don't. <laughs> Hold on. The other uh, guys want to say hi. Uh, Hold on. Oh, okay, cool. Steve. What's going on? Yo, hey. dude. Hey. Oh, oh check that. I love the new look. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Very cool. <laughs> Whoa. How have you guys been? It's so great to we've see been, you guys. Uh, we've been good. We're, you know, we're, we're still here orbiting the planet as usual with all our friends and and it's good to hear from you guys you're gigging tonight yeah well we're traveling today we left at about eight o'clock this morning and we're going to north carolina play a show tomorrow 
Oh, to, okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Nice. So we stopped for a little uh, rest and relaxation. Was it barbecue tonight? What it was tonight? Tonight was like a seafood steakhouse. Very good oh, food. Oh, very, very good food. We're all very happy. Well, I don't want to take good. up too much time. I'm going to pass the phone to Sean, but it's great seeing you guys. Okay, bro. Good to see you. <laughs> They're a great Hey, y'all. What's going on? Wow. Hey, man, how are you? these guys? Yeah. It's been a while, eh? <laughs> But I'm, we're really making the run. This is funny. Angus must have known you guys were coming in and decided. To oh, here, here he is. Hi, he heard us talking. Hi. Good, 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 good. Nice to hey, see you. Doing? Good to see you, man. <laughs> Everything's good, John. Well, yeah, I, 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 I was dropping Stella and her boyfriend off the football game, and they had a lightning, <laughs> lightning delay. Stop. Ah, who's <laughs> it? Is? Decided oh, to sit by a fence. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back here by myself. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? That's right. <laughs> Famous get... last words, right? Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at this. this. Oh, look I, at that. A bunch of dead people over there. Pop there we go. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, Popular oh, team. We're gonna stay at that game. Who's winning? <laughs> it has it has its start. Nobody. It, got, it, started. it looks kind of like football. Hey. Wait, wait, oh. I get, Hey, it was really good to see you guys. I'm going to pass you along to Alex. Take care. Take care. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alex. Good to see you, Sean. Everybody's up on the high, guys. Alex. How are you? Hey, how's it going? It's going good. It's going good. Huh? We've been thinking about you. Yeah, we have. Yeah, I was actually thinking about you guys, too. I just don't remember our past interview. It was great. A lot of fun. Yeah, so we'll have to do it again. We'll have to, you know, we'll have to, we'll definitely have to do Absolutely. it again. Yeah, we can, we can repeat that again. Okay, well, that's, guys, we if, can, if you all don't know. Here and join. I was going to say. I, I gonna, know, I can hear too good. These are the guys from Double Vision. It's a, it's a, it's an unbelievable foreigner band. It's amazing. You know, <laughs> and actually somebody called me up the other day and they said, you know, I was going to have Double Vision at my birthday party, but I found out I could get foreigner cheaper. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. That's a good one. <laughs> Hi, here we go. All right, yeah, I'm going to pass good. the phone to Chris. Nice to see oh, you guys. Got, we got to see Chris. Yeah. Save the best for last. There he is. Wait a minute. Wait. How many guys in this yeah. band? Jackie's with you. Hi, Chris. Uh, well, we're missing the sax player. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, we forgot the sax player. How you doing, Scott? No, that's no, that's, that's Chris. That's Chris Tristram. Yeah. It says Scott here. What's up, guys? That's the first guy was Scott. It looks like you're up, brother, that's okay. and that's a very good thing. That's true. This is Scott's. This is Scott's phone. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I love it. That's okay. Wait, what? What do you play? I am a bass. I am a bass guy. You am a bass guy. Yeah. I am a bass guy. Me too. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Me, too. me three. Wait. You, uh, oh. Yeah, B, B3. Ooh. Wow. Lenny? Yes. He's a, he so was the fun. bass player in the Good Rats, man. Yeah, brother. Serious bass player, man. Yeah, I used to see you guys play back in the day. Lenny, right? You look like a bass player. <laughs> he yeah, does you know, look like a bass of, player. Yeah. You do. He's like all mellowed out. He's in the groove. Right. Are you guys picking up the moon? It's the... Uh, it's, yeah. it's, 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 you picking up some it's, moonshine it's, uh, trip? It's a all it's a all the time that I spent in LA. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Right too. on. It's actually right not right on, it's right arm, man. Right arm. <laughs> right arm. Right arm. Gravy. Out of state. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome guys. It's so wonderful to Hi. see all of you out of I'm way out of state. Yeah, Good to see you. Yeah, cool, man. How? How are you? That's nice. I love it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I'm okay, bro. Good to see you. Oh, and we're hey, guys. You know what, Steve? Uh, all of you, I apologize. I can barely hear, but can I? Can everyone who's there tonight say hello so I know who's, who's with you? Okay, Lenny, Lenny Kotke, say hello, Lenny. Hello, hello. Hey, Lenny, how's Antigua? Uh, Antigua's very nice. Yeah, man, yep. I wish I was there. <laughs> well, come on down. 
<laughs> oh man, that's awesome. I was there one time. It was such a beautiful place. Yeah, and, it's and I finally still pretty embraced, nice. I embraced driving on the on uh, what I'll call the wrong side of the road. It all started to make sense to me when I was there. Uh, well, we're pretty used to it right That's now. The problem. <laughs> oh, I bet. Yeah. Okay, so then we have Joe Costelli. Hey, Scott. And to the stars. How are you, man? Also a bass Good. How's player. the bus doing? No, he's I'm not sorry? Coming. How's your bus coming? Yeah. Oh, it's coming out great. Thanks for asking. We, we have it parked in front of the restaurant. Is it? Yeah. Re it's going? Uh, we, have eight, we have eight bunks in it. We have most of our front lounge, and we're working on the rear lounge which is going to be the party lounge that's where wow. we're going to do antacid okay with, well and, uh, uh, and just to just to finish the intros you've got mousy who you you know mousy hi scott how's it going hi, Mousie, how are you holding down the fort here in little falls bro yep we we were at 101 <laughs> east main street leaving this morning that's where we keep our trail oh, i probably passed you on my way into the city <laughs> very very likely yeah we'll have to say hello in person soon and then you have in the center Jackie the Joke Jokey, Man. Ja Jokey the Jack Man. Jackie, Jokey the, Jackie Jack the Man. Joke Man Martling. Jackie. Hi. Oh, Woo! shit. I don't know anybody, but hello, I love you. Where, where's Jackie? He left. <laughs> he's on the, he's yeah. on the island. Blonde with the black. Oh, he's on the island. Here. Yeah, why? Uh, white headphones. And the guy uh, holding on to the fence is Angus. Is Angus. You know, oh, and the kite is Angus. He's still on the fence. <laughs> Angus. Yeah, Angus. My, my apologies if I put my phone near my face, but I'm struggling to hear. Between, all right. between the tinnitus, the deafness, and the background noise, it's a little tricky. Yeah. You want, what? You want to try using them? Hey, more how are you? Yeah. Jackie. Hi. Go, man. <laughs> nice to meet you. Awesome. Great to meet you, Jackie. My pleasure. Wow, wow. I'd love to send you guys a bunch of filthy uh, jokes for your trip, for your tour. We, what we, are you doing? We love humor, believe me. They, they're sick of my humor. Oh, they, he's got they it, probably man. probably love yeah. some professional humor. He's got yeah. it. Yes. What's the address? <laughs> Email address? Yeah, Jackie's. No, Jackie's. You got to. Okay. You know what? Just use my first. Uh, no, 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 no. No. Jackie's email address. Yeah. My email address is really simple. It's Jokeland. J O K E L A N D at AOL.com. I'll send you. Jokeland. Yeah. Jokeland. Yep. I'll send you a pile of shit. All we'll right. send you the oh, I love it. I and you'll send you some it. jokes too. Humor. Fully endorsed by Willie Nelson and Les Paul. There you go. Say that again. Fully endorsed by Willie Nelson and Les Paul. Fully endorsed friends. by Willie Nelson and Les Paul. You gotta love that. I mean, there you go. Les yeah. isn't as vocal as he once was, but Willie's still kicking. Uh, yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, Les. Yeah, what a what, what a shame, but absolutely awesome. That's great, man. Um, I apologize if if we kind of ran over your thing there. That's okay. All, that's what it's for. Here, but we called in in good spirit because we love your show. Uh, you and Lori are great. All your guests are great. Your friends. And uh, we haven't been in touch as much as we should. But it doesn't mean that we don't love you guys. Well, we love you too, man. And uh, it was good to see everybody. And um, just rock it out tomorrow night. Yeah, no worries, bro. Show. Have yeah, a great we, show. We, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mousy. I said, have a great show, bro. Thank you. Yeah, we've got to hook up in Little Falls, have a little coffee or something. Yeah, if I had a dollar for every guy who said that to me. <laughs> I'm going to reach out. They'll do it. He, you're on. If, if he says he'll be there, he'll be there. Oh, yeah, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. We'll be back there Sunday night, but I'll reach out really soon. And we'll, we'd love to meet you in person. Uh, and cool. uh, cool. all of you guys, uh, good health. Uh, have a wonderful weekend, and uh, thank you all for being patient with us. Yeah, Hit him hard, bro. Me. No problem. Hit him hard. Right, take care, Lori. Bye, I know Lori's there somewhere. Oh, well, she's there. Right here. All right, man. Guys, have a great night. Take care. Yep. Thank take you. Keep an eye on that bass player. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. 
Now, now I, there you I go. realized, Joe, I, first, Mousy, I got your pasture. We're looking like 100 billion years into the wait, pasture. Wait, wait, I have to ask. Do you think they're hitting the moonshine? <laughs> you think? I hope they are. Because <laughs> they got the night off. I know. Uh, they have a moonshine connection. They when they go to play down south, then and they, they get the real. they bring back to Jersey. <laughs> and I, I, I asked them to show it to us on the show one. It's unbelievable. Yeah. They have flavors. <laughs> flavors, yeah, flavors. flavors. Oh, who would have thought? Okay, so what? Do I hear my train of coming. Is that it? Uh, you got it. Wow. First guess. Oh, right. Hendrix. Hendrix. He was we're still. St we're. He, I'm still in the Hendrix. With the Jimmy Hendrix no. theme, still. So. Okay. Well, I went. I I went back to when I was uh, singing with the Tim. singing with the Temptations. Uh, that's my girl. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it really is. Are you kidding? No, no. Which but, one is you, Steve? Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. That's me. There I am. The one singing. This was, uh, that was quite a night. Of course, I, I was a partner in the venue, so I had a little bit to do with it. But uh, it was, uh, yeah, man. That was the and Otis, somebody who told me Otis is still alive. Ivan. Uh, Ivan. Yeah. Otis from The Temptations, still alive. So that's my pitch. Otis wow. from The Temptations is still alive? Yeah. Yes. Wow. He's the guy who kind of penned the uh, the Broadway play, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's the last of the original guys, man. Jackie, you need to come in earlier. Yeah, you need week. to come in earlier. because it's... I, I, it's my fault. You know, I was with my family and all of a sudden. I didn't, I had my note right where I couldn't miss it. But the trick is I had to walk past the note. <laughs> so, so. I'm on the beach, so I don't walk around with my cell phone. You know, I had the alarm set, but I don't have my cell phone on me when I'm swimming on the beach, you know. So That's all right. you'll get the hang of it. It goes. What beach are you on, Jackie? What beach were you on? Get the hang of it. Hey, we're gonna have him on one yeah, day you, a week. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, we we gotta give we're, we're working yeah. out a feature for you, Jackie. That's you're right. you're gonna get the Yay, that'll be so cool. Oh yeah. So, yeah, so there you go. Yeah. That's 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 a so hear my a train great Labor Day weekend, everybody. Yeah, have a great Labor Day weekend. I started wait a minute, wait, wait. I didn't think we had a show tonight. <laughs> What's the matter, Len? Oh, to, uh, you, no, you, I, you have to go to the I, boys' I, room. I'll be right back. Uh, I do have a joke. I have a joke that I meant to tell last week. Okay. But now I'm a, now I'm a little nervous. Are you intimidated? No, no, yeah. oh, telling up. a joke in front of this guy. No, you tell one, then I'll tell one. Okay, good. Okay, that's a and good way. This, this goes out to Lori and Mousy. Uh -huh. Little girl, little girl comes home from school. Mother goes, "Oh, hi, sweetheart. How was school today? Oh, it was very good. We had sex education." The mother goes, "Oh, really? And what did you learn about?" Well, the teacher said that if you have sex, it burns as many calories as running eight miles. And the mother goes, "Honey." Who's going to run eight miles in 30 seconds? <laughs> okay. It, Jackie, it wasn't a big one, but it was a cute no, one. No, it was fine. So there's two guys. Now it's very filthy. That's okay, right? That's fine, yeah. Oh, we insist. There's, there's two guys sitting on a dock fishing. And one guy reaches in his bait, takes out a piece of bait, puts on a hook, and throws it in. The other guy takes out a piece of bait. He sniffs it. He puts it on the hook throws it in, and reels in a fish. The other guy looks over at him. You know, he's still fishing. The second guy reaches in, takes a piece of bait, sniffs it, puts on a hook, throws it in, pulls out a fish. The other guy's still sitting there. Second guy reaches in a bait box, takes out a piece of bait, sniffs it, puts it on the line. The other guy says, wait one goddamn minute. I've been sitting there for three hours. Three hours right next to you. I haven't got a damn nibble. And you reach in the bait box, take out a piece of bait, you sniff it, you put it on the hook, you throw it in, you're pulling up fish, fish after fish. What are you using for bait? The guy says, well, I'll tell you the truth, I'm a little embarrassed. I, I got a buddy who, who works at the morgue, and uh, he sells me pussies to use for bait. And, and the fish can't resist it, but fish after fish. The first guy says, all right, that, that I understand. But why would you sniff each one? He says, ah, my friend's a low-life bastard. Once in a while, he slips in a few assholes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm not even going to try. Oh, no. Not even going to try. That, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a, that, that, man, well, listen. Here we go. That's going to do it. That's going to do it for me. The night vision has come on. The bugs are circling around the outdoor lights. It must be dinner time. I apologize to everybody for being late. Who was the band we were talking to? That was a uh, it was a, 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 a double vision. They're incredible. A foreigner. They they, they do foreigner they do better foreigner. than foreigner. Amazing. They are amazing. Where are they yeah. from? They're uh, from Jersey. all over Jersey. Jersey. Uh, but one guy is from Russia, and he told us, he said, the things you see in movies about what Ru they do in Russia is true. He said... Uh, oh, Jesus. All of the things yeah, that you see. Things. Everything you've ever seen in a Russian movie is true. Get me wow. a contact address or something so I can... Th Leslie oh, I West will. and Joe Walsh, all those guys listen to my CDs endlessly. They listen to them on Ringo's plane. When the, at that first, remember the first All Star yeah. tour? Yeah, sure. Do you remember the story about that? Ringo finally decides he's going on the road. He's got Leslie West, I don't know, maybe Joe, whoever. He had the cream of the cream of the cream. Who doesn't want to go out on the road with the first Beatle to go on tour in so long? And so Ringo had a press conference live and was literally being heard by a billion people, literally. This is like, I think it was 1991 or so. Remember, a billion yeah. people. And he had a press conference. And like usual, we sent Stuttering John with some questions. We used to send Stuttering John to all these things with obtuse things to say. And once in a while, he'd get, you know, he, he said to Ted Williams, did you ever fart in front of the catcher's face? Oh, my God. You know, oh, crazy God. shit like that. So we give John a question. But it's a huge press conference. There's no way he's going to get in a question. And they call on John. And he did. I gave him the oldest kid joke in the world. And Ringo came back with the absolute perfect straight line. And me and Fred sat there and curled up in a ball. I thought I was going to die of embarrassment. A billion people live and stuttering John says, R Ringo, what would what, you do? What would you do with the money? Money. And Ringo said, what money is the, the, the money your mom gave you for singing lessons? <laughs> Live the to a billion people. Oh, it's classic. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta, wow. love it. Gotta love it. I'm sure you can find that on YouTube somewhere. You know, oh, but yeah. man. Oh, uh, oh, oh, well, you know what? I, do you know the Buddy Rich? Well, you must know the Buddy Rich one. Yes? No? What? Yeah. The, the guys on the bus? No, no, no. No, yeah, no, no. Well, Guy like, calls up Buddy's house. Uh, on his birthday. Yeah, and he says, uh, hi, is uh, Buddy there, please? That makes it worse. And his wife says, uh, no, no, uh, I'm sorry, Buddy's not here. He passed away. And the guy goes, oh, okay. And he hangs up the phone. You know this one? <laughs> of course. Okay, so everyone. <laughs> he knows everything. He does no, know. No, you know, Howard's agent is such a piece of shit, Don Buckwald. <laughs> I am dying, dying, dying for the day that he passes away. Because I'm going to call up You're his house call. and his agency and says, Don, no, I'm sorry, he's dead. He said, Isn't this the same guy that kept calling? Yeah, I just love hearing it. Oh, I, I just, <laughs> just need I, to hear it one more time. <laughs> oh, I, can't, I just need to hear it over and over. Oh, that's uh, a great. That's that's, great. Usually, it's Buddy Rich. That's, you know, you got to take somebody that everybody's really had the ass for. By all accounts, he was as big a piece of shit as he was good, a, a good drummer. You know what I mean? From the yeah, from the stories I've heard, but they you oh know, my they, god, you know. get off the bus, right? The bus Jesus yeah. Christ, oh. fire! Yeah, I think like Gene Krupa no, was a nicer the bus, guy. Like slowing down. You know, all right, here you, Jackie. I'm going to give you this one, and then then, and then, and then we're going to call it. What did the drummer get on his IQ test? Truel. You can't mess with this guy. You can't mess with this guy. Why, why, why does the driver keep his sticks on the dashboard? So he could use the handicap parking. <laughs> That's my favorite. Why is a drum solo like a sneeze? Uh, 
because you, you know it's coming. You know it's coming, and, and you're nothing just scared. you can do about it. <laughs> right. But you know, this is the classic. That's the old music joke. That I, Paul Schaefer actually told me this about the two settlers walking along in the 1880s, and they walk along. All of a sudden, they hear boom, 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 boom. And one settler says to the other settler, "I don't like the sound of those drums." And a voice up on the rise says. He's not our regular drummer. <laughs> <laughs> that's, just a, okay. that's just a classic. I'm sorry. All right, kids. That. That's going to do it for me. Class yeah. dismissed. Have a great Have a very weekend. great, safe weekend. Booker, if you're watching, oh, we need yeah. the Bluebell pictures. Booker's in Houston eating Bluebell. Yeah, and, oh, peace, nice. and a little piece on the side. Exactly. Peace and love. I like Hold that. The lawn. Bye, bye Joe. You. Bye, bye. Bye, Mousy. Bye, Bye to Becky. Guys. Bye, Laurie. I didn't meet, I didn't meet anybody. Bye, Bye, Steve. Bye, and see you next time. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> they'll be here. They'll be here. Yeah. That's Mousy and Lenny before you go. <laughs> but they'll be here. Bye, Jackie. Have a good weekend. Good night and nice good luck. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Take Have care, bud. Weekend. Well, so here we go with everything. Whoops. Okay. Everyone got out yep. in an well, orderly just fashion. Yeah, PBSing. <laughs> right. PBSing. Yeah. Mm. So it's like PMSing? No, it's not. Anyway, we're going to go see what they have on uh, two for one at Win Dixie. Because I want to win! <laughs> All right, that did it. Have but, a great weekend and a great see... Labor Day. We'll see you Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. We're going to be uh, incognito on Monday. That's so right. Tuesday night. Angus will tell me who the, I don't, you know how it goes. You know how it works. And it's probably not that anyway. So, if I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the pasture. Good night, everybody. Hi, kids. Uh-oh, what happened here? Oh, no, I can't get out. Oh. <laughs>